Kelly here. Welcome back for this week's video. So I'm touching on a fall trend today. Whether you are a trend spotter or you don't really follow these sorts of things, um, I don't always, to be honest with you, but one that I don't think we're going to be able to get away from this fall is glitter and metallics. That extreme trend towards highlighting and strobing has finally crossed over into glitter mania, and I think you're going to see a lot of it with the eyes and the lips, mostly. We're not going back to the days of limited to body glitter, if anybody remembers those. At least I don't think we are. You might see that on runways, but fingers crossed it doesn't start showing up in the office. I doubt that I'm going to be getting too heavily into eye glitters and eye metallics just because I don't feel like I have particularly large eyelids um, enough to get really artistic with things and keep that glitter from smudging. My lids are kind of hooded. But I do love lipsticks. Lips are the most prominent feature on my face. And so I picked up a couple of these guys, the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints from their metallic line. They have these in matte colors as well. And I think there were actually even two or three more from the metallic line, but I felt that they were too dark, that there was no chance I would ever wear them. Um, this is in the color Moonlust, Liquid Venom, and Galactic Foil. The first thing I'll say about these is that I feel like the colors on the tubes and even in like just in the little bottom part behind the sticker that you can see there a little bit are super misleading. Um, you can still see the swatches on my hands here. The first one of these that I bought was actually Liquid Venom, and I bought it because I thought it was going to be a much lighter kind of coffee color, something not so pink, more in just like the brown neutral line. And you guys saw what a deep wine shade that was to me. Um, whereas the Galactic Foil, on the other hand, I thought was going to be rather on the hot pink side, and that's actually what I'm wearing right now. This one appears much more in the wine variety to me. Um, and originally I thought that Moonlust was going to be super silver and powdery pink, and it's not. It's actually a really lovely sort of mauve color. So watch your colors. I know that being a drugstore product, you can't really open them up and swatch them in the store, which is kind of painful, but um, not too bad. I actually really like them. I thought even this one was going to be a little bit too crazy of a color, but for fall months, I actually see myself wearing this a lot. As far as the metallic trend and the actual shine payoff, there is nothing over top of these making these glassier or glossier than it's appearing just with my um, desk lights right here. Um, and you saw on my hand swatch as well, you can just see how well these catch the light. So I'm very impressed by that. In addition, they're super comfortable to wear. Um, they're not sticky at all, which I love. And um, they're not drying either. They don't, that glitter doesn't like dry out your lips to make sure they stay on there. And yet the staying powder, powder, the staying power is actually pretty good. Um, I've worn both Liquid Venom and Moonlust during the day and they stay on pretty well even after I've been drinking out of a straw out of a glass. You're not going to get that commercial like test where when you drink out of something you're not going to leave a print. Like there's for sure lipstick left on that straw, but at the same time, it's not as though it just wiped it off the corner of my mouth. So it's like there's layers to it, and even though it kind of does come off slowly over time as you eat, as you drink, I feel like for the most part, it actually stayed on really well. More beneficial than that, it doesn't feather. I didn't have any problems with feathering where it kind of starts to bleed out into the fine lines at the edges of your lips, so you get kind of that like smudgy, gross look. I had no issues with that, so it sets very, very well. I have seen these at Ulta and grocery stores and Target for about $9.99, $10 a piece. Ulta was at one point running a BOGO deal, a buy one get one half off on their L'Oreal products, so keep an eye out for that and you can get them for, get a couple of them for half off, which is certainly helpful. Um, but as far as fall trends go, not a heavy buy-in, um, not anything too dangerous, I don't think. Obviously, I definitely need a little bit more blush, I think, to carry off a lip this dark, but super fun. I really like the product. Um, I don't feel like they were at all a waste of money for what you're getting, so that's definitely a good recommendation. That's all I have for these swatches, for these lipsticks. For next week's video, I am hoping to do this product for you guys right here. This is the new YSL All Hours Foundation. I once again ordered it in a color that I think is a little bit too light for me and I want to do a proper wear test, so I'm trying to exchange this so I can get a wear test up on that for you next week. Um, I've gotten some feedback from you guys on my wear test. Thank you so much for that, by the way. I really appreciate it letting me know that it actually would be more helpful to see how I actually wear the foundation. So for the YSL wear test, I'm going to go ahead and use my usual primer and powder so you can see how it wears. 
As always, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. If you're new, make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos. We do one beauty video and one workout video every week. So click subscribe to make sure you're notified when those drop. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.